Welcome back, back out of the kayak. Today we're gonna be targeting a few different things. First off, here in the morning, I'm gonna try to bottom bounce and see if I can find myself a nice flat halibut. Um, so we're gonna try that for at least an hour or so, maybe more if I get lucky, maybe less if I get tired of it. And then we're gonna try and troll for salmon. I brought my downrigger, got my salmon gear, I got my halibut gear, and if all things pan out, maybe we can get a little bit of both. But anyways, first things first, we're gonna try for some halibut. I got some good bait. If you watched my last video, I grinded out two long days to catch one keeper. So uh, maybe all that hard work will pay off today with a little more productivity for hard work. A little better efficiency, hopefully. But anyways, I got some good bait, so I wanna tie that on. We're gonna start bottom bouncing right about here. One obstacle today is I forgot my fish finder battery. So no fish finder today, but I've caught fish without the fish finder before, so we're gonna try to do that again today. But anyways, let's drop down and get things started. So the bait that I was referring to are these guys right here. These are some freshly dead squid. These are the squid that I jigged up on my last trip out. And uh, we're going through a little bait ball here, it seems. We see some bait jumping on the side here, so maybe if we're lucky there's gonna be a halibut sitting down beneath. But uh, yeah, same same setup as before, just a little trap rig here, two hooks. Put one on the top, just like that, and one in the head, just like that. Set it down. Oh, that's it. Water's a little murky today. I'm not sure if that's gonna affect the bite or not, but all right. One down. Second one down. All right, come on, halibut. All right, well, I think we got two kingfish on this one, and then I think there's one on this side too, so let's, let's get out deeper a little bit. I'll try to avoid these, look for a bigger fish. Fish on, but I don't think there's a halibut. I think this is like a ling or a rockfish. Actually, I think it's a small ling, it's gonna be my guess. Yep. Just send small ling. First fish of the day, I guess other than the kingfish. I'm gonna retie my leader. Ling cod have really teeth, toothy mouths. I don't know if that's the right word. Right grammar, but anyways, they have a lot of teeth and they really fray up your leader. So that one was definitely, like the hook was inside the mouth. So all the teeth were rubbing on this little portion right here. So I'm just gonna cut off about that much and then retie back on so that our leader is not compromised. That might be a halibut. Yeah, that's a halibut, I think. I think there's a halibut. See those head shakes? The like, really, it's really distinct on the halibut. Oh, 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 this side too. I might have doubled up on halibut. I just gotta leave that one there. I got two fish on. I'm not sure if that's a halibut or it might be just a snag. This one feels like a good halibut though. Yeah, I think that's a 
hauled it. I think we might have a good haul of the year. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my gaff. I probably should have, but yeah, 100%. This is 100% haul. I'd be shocked if this was anything else but a haul of it. Just has that. I don't know what it is. I think because they they swim kind of up and you know flat or whatever. When they shake their head, it feels different than really any other fish out here. Um, but anyways. What I was saying is I wish I had my gaff because I like to gaff these, especially the bigger halibut. When it goes into the net, they go crazy. But I tried anyways because that's all I got. nice one I'd say it's probably around 30 maybe a little more I don't know here's the weight try to just swing him right in try to swing him right in Actually, that wasn't that bad. Usually they flop around a lot more than that in the net. I think you might have been tired from that fight. Oh, there you go. Ha! It's a keeper. Well, there's fish number one. That's a nice one to start us off. Nice halibut. Funny, I drifted around in my last video for like 12 hours and just managed to get one right at the very end. More than 12 hours actually, I think it was closer to 15 or 16. But anyways, we drifted around for a long time to get one and then today we come out here and like maybe 30 minutes in, we already got a nice keeper. This one's bigger than the last one for sure. 29, solid, solid of a keeper. All right, I'll bonk him, bleed him, and we'll put back down, see if we can get another one. Got snagged up. Oh! That thing kind of just went airborne. We've been watching too many salmon videos, bro. Things 
feels like everything likes a squid, so you gotta deal with a lot of bycatch. Rockfish. Pretty big one around right here. Nice little black rockfish. Alright, well like I was saying with the squid, the only problem with the squid is everything will eat a squid. So I, unfortunately, oh my gosh, look at this. On there. I believe that's a. I want to say it's a fringe head. It kind of looks like a baby ling, but I don't think it's actually a ling. But look at that. Cool looking fish. Little guy. But, uh, anyways, used up all my squid, and now it's getting super windy, unfortunately. I wanted to give salmon a little bit more of an effort, but the weather's just not allowing me to do that today. So, anyways. I'm gonna work my way in, but on my way in, I'm gonna drop in my salmon gear. And maybe, just maybe, if I get lucky on the way in, maybe I'll hit one. Well, a little bit of a choppy ride in. The wind definitely picked up, but that's how things go out here in the open ocean. I was hoping to fish a little bit longer. I was hoping to give salmon more of a try but unfortunately the weather just didn't allow it. I did troll on my way in, um, put Apex down, but no takers and uh, kind of to be expected. Can't expect to just give it one pass and catch a fish. So so I had a little bit of a halibut itch if you watched the last couple of videos and I was luckily able to catch a couple of keepers and scratch that itch, but now I think I'm ready to go target some salmon again, some kayak chrome. It's been a little while since I got one. So I think on my next trip, well, hopefully if I catch one, my next video will be a salmon, kayak salmon video, but if it's not, that probably means I went and didn't catch them, so you guys have to stay tuned to see what happens there. But anyways, fun day nonetheless, a bunch of little lings, a few rockfish, and one nice keeper halibut. But I am glad to have this kayak back. I mean, if you missed it or you follow the channel, it was a couple months when I didn't have it because it was a couple things I needed to fix and then just parts was getting Whatever, it's a long story. But anyways, I didn't have this kayak for a little while, but I'm glad to have it back. Once you're fighting that wind, I can tell you one thing, it would have taken me a lot longer to get back. I'd still be out there if I was on my other kayak. I'd make it back, but I, once I got back, I'd be tired. And uh, yeah, it would just take longer to get back. So anyways, glad to have this kayak back. It's a little bit more of work to set it up. More, a couple more moving parts with the battery and the motor and everything, but once you get on the water, I mean, I've, I've kind of fished for quite a while and I think this is tough to beat this setup. But anyways, that's just my two cents. But let's pack up, get ready for the next adventure. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.